what's going on dudes and dudettes so yes of course the chargers have made it official derwin james is gonna likely miss six to eight months after his successful surgery obviously sucks because he's one of my favorite players on the chargers especially because he's young and coming young and up and coming and Yes, he's one of the better defensive standouts that they have. And just even right before I did this video, it looked like they're officially placing him on IR, the injured reserve list. So, I mean, technically eight, eight weeks into the season, he has a chance to come back, but it just doesn't seem possible as of right now. And I wouldn't want him, <clears throat> you know, trying to come back and push it and re-injure something again. It sucks, but, uh, only if the Chargers were in playoff contention, maybe you bring him back. Um, but as of right now, it doesn't look possible. But yeah, very tough news to take right now. But yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with that as of this very second. And Brandon Ingram, the ex Duke forward, and now with the New Orleans Pelicans, also ex Laker, he has won the NBA most improved player over this last season. Of course, he's because he sucked so much while he's with the Lakers. And I don't know, he had a lot of opportunity. He just wasn't able to play correctly with LeBron James. And once he was able to get on his own team with more spacing, he did a lot better, of course. And, and I'm pretty sure he mentions being away from the spotlight of LA helped out a lot, which I hate, I hate as an excuse, but because he's a Duke player, it's more of the reason why I'm talking about him giving him some praise here so congrats to him and hopefully we'll see what he does in free agency and then Leonard Fournette one of the top running backs coming out like three to four years ago out of college he was like a generational type of player uh was recently let go by his team that drafted him number four overall the Jacksonville Jaguars and people don't know why we haven't really gotten the full news if he was a reason or if just their whole system out there sucks or the <laughs> coaches or people running the front office suck but we'll see where he signs hopefully he doesn't sign with a team like kansas city you know people like that that are, seem like they're automatically going to win this year uh i'm really hoping he goes with the chargers because for some reason i heard that austin eggler has been splitting his reps 50 50 even though i don't understand why that's happening because you did pay him to be your starting running back but he's still not getting 100 percent of the bulk load which is kind of weird but if you were to pair him up if you're doing that and pair him up with a guy like that leonard fournette who is a, a ground and pound type of guy who can take 20 carries and go straight up the middle and has improved in catching the ball this last year i think he could be a great fit for the chargers on a one-year deal and they have enough salary space to probably be able to offer him the most money at this very second but we'll see what he wants to do if he wants to win right now or try to get the most money as he can i guess and then found out that usc is officially pausing again for another week until after labor day to return to sports activities on their campus just to make sure and be careful but i don't know how careful people are going to be over labor day weekend when they have that extra day off and we'll see if uh these kids uh stay safe and try not to go out as much but we can only hope for the best at usc and to finish up real quick here so tyrod taylor has been named the starting quarterback for the chargers week one against cincinnati according to head coach anthony lynn so let's hope this is the correct decision well it is a correct decision because herbert hasn't really technically got enough practice reps so it makes sense and we kind of heard a couple videos ago that this was most likely the direction that was going to happen so we'll see hoping for the best but if they suck hoping for a number one overall pick too <laughs> should make things very interesting quarterback wise <clears throat> excuse me then jason tatum uh recently has been playing off the charts for boston celtics yes it's hard to hard to say that but yes he's been they're leading two to zero over the as the people keep like like to keep saying the defending champions but they're definitely not champions without Kawhi Leonard so that's obviously showing why they're able to beat up on a crappier team like Brooklyn in the first round but now they're struggling against a superstar in the making and Jason Tatum 
out of Duke. So definitely glad for his success, but uh, this will be tough to keep rooting for the Boston Celtics right now. <clears throat> and then according to the head coach of the Lakers, Frank Vogel, uh, Rajon Rondo has kind of been looking good in practice so far. So he's optimistic that he will be able to play in this next series. So that's what we're just hoping for is to get a little bit more depth at the play making spot for the Lakers instead of putting all the burden on LeBron or Caruso. So anything will help right now for the Lakers. And then according to, I guess since the Pittsburgh, it was Pittsburgh Penguins, I think that they lost or they're not in the playoffs anymore. And then in the NHL bubble, we found out that the first round pick we traded for Andre Cassie, it's going to be like 27 overall, which only sucks just because it's kind of hard to package that with like their seventh or eighth overall pick that they have to try to move up any closer or anything like that. So it's good to have another first round pick, I guess, but hopefully they can do some type of deal to get other players for that pick or anything to help them win now instead of win later and then LA uh, in the LA area the COVID-19 numbers have gone down a bit because I guess the CDC had officially did their their job and went around looking at places to see how these people had passed away officially instead of everybody just saying and blaming that it was COVID and of course the numbers are a lot lower than what they are I'm sure businesses and hospitals were just trying to get that extra money, but they're dumb if they didn't think that the CDC would go around and actually make sure where they're putting and sending their money to. So, yeah, of course, the numbers aren't as high, but uh, we're going through stuff in California where we're still having to wait for stuff. I still have to hate that. I have to wait to watch my most anticipated movie this year, Tenet, by Christopher Nolan, the great director and movie theaters are still not open right now. Outdoor movie theaters are, but there's no close outdoor movie theater to me, of course, so have to deal with that struggle so far. And then to finish off this video, Spider Mitchell, as they call him, or Donovan Mitchell, who was, who's just been my favorite player ever since he kept getting better and better in the league um, with the Utah Jazz and just this last playoff series that they lost last night, he, he went on a scoring crazy i think he had like the most points scored in a in a in like one round i think in the first round bout ever since like lebron james did it he outscored him by like six or some points like 250 plus points in seven games which is freaking crazy but i was kind of hoping that he wouldn't sign this max extension deal with utah to be able to come and pair him with the lakers and anthony davis so i wanted davis and mitchell as the lakers two pieces going forward into the future instead of lebron i was going to push lebron out of course but yeah it's just kind of sucks won't be able to get him on the lakers anytime soon but he's definitely well deserved of that max contract extension and good luck to him in his future but yeah definitely sucks can have him on the lakers but thanks for watching people like and subscribe comment down below let me know what y'all think have a great rest of your day